Hello everybody, I'm Grant Fluff from Fletcher Sports Zone and welcome back to another YouTube video and today's video isn't going to be great. Um good it's gonna be a good video, but I gotta explain and kinda get something off my chest real quickly because as a Jaguar fan this absolutely destroys my heart. And truly just one of the OG Jaguars from, like, my childhood. You know, when I was first becoming a fan of the team in 2014. 2014 was actually his rookie year. One of the best outside linebackers in Jaguar history. Listen, we gotta talk about Telvin Smith, alright? Now, last year... There was, well, reports, and he did get arrested for dating a 17-year-old girl. Now, obviously, that is illegal, as we know, and he wasn't going to get away with it. That makes all the sense in the world. And, you know, I've been hearing constant reports saying he's going to come back. If he doesn't plead guilty, he's going to come back. This and that. I'm like... Listen, would he even want Telvin Smith back after dating a 17-year-old girl? Like, unless if the information was absolutely false and made up, would I even want someone like him back on my team? Telvin Smith, my favorite all-time Jaguar playoff moment, that scoop and score against the Steelers in the 2018 divisional round. You know what, man? That moment's kind of... It's kind of ruined for me now. There's nothing else to explain other than that moment's a little ruined now. You know, it was incredible play. Al Jack forces the fumble. Smith picks it up. And he's pointing at Le'Veon Bell while he runs into the end zone. Such a good memory. But that memory is now tainted because of what he did. And, of course, main reason why I'm making this video is because on... Um, Friday, reports came out that, well, the court pleaded to a no contest and he's getting three years of probation due to child abuse. And this ultimately squashes any question of him coming back to the NFL. It ain't going to happen. And again, unless this was absolutely false, I don't care how good of a player you are. If you're going to do something stupid and illegal, I don't want you on my team. I don't even want you back in the league. So moral of the story, like, oh, like when Antonio Brown signed with the Buccaneers this past year, I just got so enraged because I'm like, how is Antonio Brown in the league after all the crap he's done? And here's the thing about Telvin Smith. He's only 30, and if he still hasn't slowed down, if he still has quite a bit of speed... Does a team take a chance on him? I mean, is the thing. Obviously, the answer is no. No team would take a chance on him, even if he did declare as a free agent. But here's my thing. Telvin Smith, and listen, I know he hasn't played in two years, because, of course, in 2019, he took some personal time off. So he wasn't technically retired, but he did take some personal time off, which, please... If the personal time was to spend time with the 17-year-old girl, oh my goodness, I would I would lose it there. But we are not sure of that, so I will not jump to any conclusions. But pretty much, yeah, this is just ridiculous. So he, he took some time off in 2019. That's okay. And then 2020, uh, during the 2019 offseason, technically, uh, right before the draft last year, he gets arrested, this whole thing pops up, and all the respect to have for Thomas Smith goes out the window. And the fact that, again, it was proven that he is guilty, he's not getting a chance. But back to my point about, does Telvin Smith deserve another shot in the NFL? Obviously, he doesn't, like I mentioned before. But would a team sign him? And obviously, again, no, they won't. But honestly, yeah. He's, as much as I hate to say it, Helvin Smith is still probably better than half of the outside linebackers in the NFL right now, even with two years off. 
Now, obviously, the next time he could be eligible for the NFL is when he's 33, and let's be real, he's not coming back then. But, I mean, if you really think about it, if you put Telvin Smith in the proper scheme, and as long as he doesn't slow down, if he still has his speed and his ball hawking ability, he is fine, and he would be a great contributor to a team. Like, if I'm being completely honest with you, and Telvin Smith was found innocent, and obviously he would still get another crack at it in the NFL, Raiders, Falcons, Cowboys, Seahawks, and um, Jets, take notes on this guy. Great ball hawking ability. He made the Pro Bowl back in 2017, was a main contributor with Sacksonville. This guy has nine interceptions. As an outside linebacker, in four years, he had nine interceptions. Oh, five years, rather. He had nine interceptions. That was pretty impressive. He has um, only three career touchdowns. Yeah, I know he had a pick six against the Bills in 2015, then the scoop and score in 2017 in the playoffs, and then 2018 was the pick six against uh, Ryan Tannehill. Yeah, that, that was another moment. You know, I like the Telvin Smith moment, you know, from the playoffs because that's the memory that sticks out the most, I think, when we think of Telvin Smith. But the other moment I liked was the pick six he got against Miami week 16, 2018. That was Bortles last, that was Blake Bortles last win as a Jaguar. I forgot about that. He also got pick six in that game. And it's unfortunate that again, that's just another, one of my favorite Jaguar moments ever tainted because this guy's a goofball. It's like, listen, how would a Patriot fan react if you brought up Aaron Hernandez Super Bowl in Super Bowl 46 or his uh, touchdown catch rather? Or if you're Ray Rice, if you're a Ravens fan, you bring up Ray Rice, one of his best rushing performances. Like, a Raven fan's going to be like, listen, I liked Ray Rice when he was a player, but I hate him as a person now. They're going to be the same way. And that's the same thing with me. Telvin Smith as a player, and when I was, you know, in middle school in the first year of high school, I loved this guy. Uh, but it's just amazing how he takes one year off and now... His career is in shambles. I mean, again, I could list off even another two or three teams that could have used him. But, again, he's guilty. He ain't coming back. And shame on him, dude. Wasted career. He already made one Pro Bowl. Does he stay with the Jaguars long term? Honestly, I probably doubt it. At that point, everyone from that 2017 uh, team is pretty much gone. I mean, yeah, Josh Lambeau's still around. And that's literally it. <laughs> and there's a, there's a couple other players too. But for the most part, Josh Lambeau's the only player of note that is still there. And Miles Jack. I can't diss on Miles Jack. That would be disrespectful. But, of course, the main reason why they quote-unquote lost that game, Miles Jack wasn't down. Yeah, I'm still going to say Miles Jack wasn't down until the Jaguars win the Super Bowl. Deal with it. Because <laughs> he wasn't. But neither here nor there. Telvin Smith. It just sucks. And again, in 2018, kind of my last thing here, he had 100 combined, he had 100 solo tackles, rather, and 134 tackles total. And that was in 2018, before he took the year off. This guy was pretty much a Pro Bowl snub in 2018. If the Jaguars didn't finish 5-11 and that year, and they finished like 8-8, eight 9-7, eight, made the playoffs, Telvin Smith's probably making back-to-back -back Pro Bowls. That just, again, it just sucks how... You lose respect for some athletes sometimes. It's just like, man, I grew up watching this guy. One of my, you know, honestly, Telvin Smith, other than maybe Calais Campbell, was my all-time favorite Jaguars defensive player ever. And now he went from second on that list all the way down to like 20th. Just because of him not using his brain and figuring, hey, let me date a 17-year-old. This won't blow up in my face. I guess I'll wrap it up with one more thing saying, why do athletes date minors? And I am here to tell you that no one should be doing that. But especially athletes more than anybody or celebrities. Listen, if you're an athlete, and this is going to sound wrong what I'm about to say. And don't take this personally or nothing. But let's be real. If you're an athlete, 
not saying you can buy a girlfriend because or a wife because that wouldn't be the proper way of saying it. But pretty much, you could have so much money that a girl, all you have to do is just act polite and a lady will most likely be your girlfriend. And then, you know, you could eventually progress into marriage and stuff. But, listen, I'm no dating expert by any means, but the moral of the story is just don't be like Talvin Smith. Had the future in his hands, probably had a couple more Pro Bowl appearances in him, and just wasted it. And again, by the time he's at jail, it's going to be 33. There's no way the league lets him back in. So, it's just very unfortunate. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. A bit of a darker video, but we didn't have Fletcher Sports on this Sunday, so I kind of want to get this off my chest saying, man, Telvin Smith, you suck. I love you as a player, but oh, you are a terrible human being, and now I am not a fan of yours anymore and thank goodness I would not have your jersey because well I would probably have no remorse burning it so yeah at least I can get a Telvin Smith jersey or else this will make this video even more sad but yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know what your thoughts are about Telvin Smith in the comments um yeah I would assume you pretty much agree with me no does not deserve another chance in the NFL could teams use him absolutely but he's never coming back in the league and you shouldn't. And if he does, that'll be another video a few years down the road. If he miraculously does, and I'll just be upset about it. But, again, let me know what you guys think. I'm Grant Fluff from Fletcher Sports. I'm saying enjoy the rest of your evening.